Australian girls are very into themselves a little bit. I prefer just someone a little bit more laid back. Are you drunk right now? Yeah. Blink twice if you are. I wanted to slap him. He was drunk. Heading to the First Dates restaurant tonight is Irish recruitment consultant Anthony. I think New Zealand general is very similar to home, and I think the mentality of the girls is very similar. I think I have a lot in common with them. And obviously they're very beautiful. He's brought his thirst for love to New Zealand after striking out in Australia. My dates in Australia didn't really work out, I guess. Um, Australian girls are very into themselves a little bit. I prefer just someone a little bit more laid back. Are you drunk right now? Yeah. Blink twice if you are. I wanted to slap him. He was drunk. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, I, am I at Alcoholics Anonymous? I'm, I was really confused. I'm not an alcoholic. Well, I'm not an Irish alcoholic. Probably an American alcoholic <laughs> or an Australian alcoholic. As far as Ireland's concerned, I'm a casual drinker. <laughs> hey, how's it going? How are you? Nice, thanks. Louis. Pleasure, Anthony. I didn't have um, much luck over in Oz, but hopefully a Kiwi girl now will, you know, get my heart and two times the charm. How are we? How are you, boy? How's things? You well? Yeah, I'm really well. Yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah. On a day, no, no complaints there. Well, not yet, she hasn't turned up. <laughs> I do like a girl with a good set of arms, I have to say. I go to a baby doll place. Baby doll, Peter yeah. A good set of arms means they're probably sporty or active, which is instantly a, a good attribute, I guess, to have. When you're in a nightclub and you're drunk, women can look absolutely amazing when they're done up. But yeah, you feel the arm, you'll know. You'll know what you're waking up to. Have you come from out of town? Yes, I'm living in Christchurch at the moment. Enjoying it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's class yeah. spot. It's just basically oil on steroids. It's yeah, for sure. explain it. <laughs> Everything's bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Could 22-year-old Tess, an aspiring life coach, give Anthony a run for his money? So in London, I was dating quite a lot, sometimes three times a week. Basically, it was a way to go out for dinner and get fed. So, a girl's got to eat. <laughs> Hi. So I haven't actually had the boyfriend experience yet. Look at a name. Tess. Tess. My perfect guy would be someone who is really fun-loving. If he has a cool accent, that'd be fantastic. Ginger. They're just so interesting. Like if one walks in, I'm like, oh, it's a ginger. And my friends have got to stop me. <laughs> Hi, how, how are you? How are you? How's things? Are you well? Good. Lovely ah. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony, I'm Tess. Tess, what is it? I found her attractive just straight away, the second I seen her. She's an absolute 15 out of 10. She's stunning looking. Because she was so good looking, I actually was thinking, would she have the personality to back that up? Where's your accent from? Ireland. Dublin? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. it? I finally got good at picking them. Every girl loves an Irish accent. They have to. If they don't, they're lying. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this drink. <laughs> yeah, have you not had one yet at all? No. Oh, um, too early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that was, that was lunchtime. It was with lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had me heart broken before. A few times, I guess. But, um... Glad to say I'm over it now and uh, looking for someone now who can take it and hopefully not break it again. <laughs> you from Auckland? No, no, I live in Christchurch. Oh, wow, that's yeah. cool. I'm well, from Christchurch. Cheers. Slant Thank you. So, how old are you? Jesus, straight off the bat. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 31. 31? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it might be someone older. I just had a thought that it might be someone like me of 40. What? You're looking at me, love. <laughs> I prefer to date older guys. I think because they've been around before, they're more intelligent. They know how to treat a woman. So we're going to go with a yes to the oyster shot? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Bang the oyster shot. Okay yeah. for drinks just now? Um, I would I would love another one. Another one? Is I'll get it on for you. Thank you so much. Personality I like is someone who doesn't take life too serious. Personally myself, I don't. 
one here. That looks a lot worse than it sounded. <laughs> Someone who's just give it a shot, see what happens. <laughs> or as the Kiwi says, she'll be all right. <laughs> I should be all right. <laughs> I, yeah, I genuinely wasn't thinking that there was going to be an oyster in it. <laughs> oh, that's fucking horrendous looking. I wasn't, I wouldn't do another one, but it wasn't that bad. One of the things I did notice about Tess, her willingness to, you know, try something new. You know, she was willing to try the oyster shot. Do I have something on my teeth? Is that why you played with your teeth? No. You have lovely teeth, by the way. They're not real. <laughs> no? I went on a date once with a guy who I quite liked. Um, I don't think he liked me then. And he said to me, um, you're lucky I'm on a date with you because I only ever date girls with really nice teeth. It took me a while to feel comfortable in my own skin. And, um, I think I started crying at the dinner table. It was really bad. He, yeah, he's like, yeah, wow. your teeth aren't that nice. I sort of only realised when I was overseas and I guess met so many different people and then I sort of gained my self-confidence. <laughs> so after that I was like, bugger you, I'm not going to let this creep get me down. So then I got, I got some fake ones. How bad were you? <laughs> okay, yeah, so here's a good representation. This was my teeth beforehand. <laughs> I'm glad I met you now. <laughs> Lovely. Is he good looking? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought, oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. Whereabouts in Ireland is he from? Dublin. So he sounds like Conor McGregor. Oh, Dublin. <laughs> I think she probably is my type. She's definitely someone I'd go for. She actually is fun, down to earth, likes to have a drink. I don't think he finds me that funny. So when you're finished, okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No halves? Ah, don't, don't worry about I'm it. Don't worry about it. Bring you on a date, lot. You'll be all right. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Ah, yeah, he paid the bill, but uh, ah, it's just a gentleman thing to do, wouldn't it? Well, grab that bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I don't think he likes me. I don't. But he did pay for dinner. Thank you for dinner. Oh, yeah. It's at least I could do. That could mean he really likes me, or it could mean, like, I don't like you, and this is like, this is a pity pay. It could be a pity pay. And he's like, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thanks for the company. Would you like to see each other again? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to see each other again? Thank you, guys. Thanks, Willem. Take it easy. Do you like to answer first? Well, I'd like to see <laughs> you again. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you yeah. seem shocked. <laughs> I am a little shocked, yeah. And, um, Boy. Uh, I just thought I'd, I'd talk myself into a hole a wee bit, but um, no, I'd, love, I'd love to see you again. Oh, OK. Mm. Oh. You can tell me all about your travels. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drink? Sure. <laughs>